Hi, welcome to another GT Spirit Adventure. Uh, I'm Zed, this is Lawrence, and uh, we're heading to Scotland in a Bentley Mulsanne. Our first destination will be Glasgow, and we'll hopefully be uh, staying at the Blytheswood Hotel. We'll uh, head back up to uh, towards Fort William, um, so we'll get to go through Loch Lomond and the Trussacks and uh, that area. Um, we'll go past Loch Ness a little bit later on. Um, and then the next day we'll come from Inverness down on some of the old military roads. Um, once we've done that we'll head back towards Edinburgh um, and hopefully pick up the Gumball 3000. The old military road is where Skyfall was filmed and that's a really cool place which probably every single person that's been there has tried to take the same shot as, uh, as Daniel Craig did. So we'll probably do the same, we be surprised. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a little bit more about the car. As I said, it's, it's pretty special. Um, the options list is like nothing I think I've ever seen before. I think it specs up to about £320,000 or something around that. Um, yeah, champagne flutes in the back, tables, seat massages on, seat cooling. And yeah, we've been in the car for about six, seven hours and I'm not tired. Well, I'm tired, but I'm always tired. But, um, <laughs> but no, yeah, it's really, really comfortable. And uh, we were saying that we don't think there's a better car for such a journey. I mean, uh, there are other cars obviously in the same sector, but this is uh, proven to be really exceptional. And, uh, yeah, it's, it hasn't it hasn't let us let us down so far. No, it's been good. Following an eight-hour drive, we arrived at the Blythewood Square Hotel, a hotel with a lot of automotive heritage and history, previously being the RAC Scotland Building that was acquired in two thousand and two and became the hotel that we're currently staying in. Having checked in, we jumped back into the Bentley to see what it'd be like driving around Glasgow and put the car through its paces in an urban environment. Having spent well over 10 hours in the car, it was time to get an early night in preparation for the next day's trip. The next morning, we fueled up the car, gave it a wash, and headed out north of Glasgow, past Loch Lomond and towards Glencoe. So it's, uh, it's day two of our, our Highlands adventure with the, uh, the Bentley Mulsanne. Um, we woke up this morning at the Blytheswood Hotel, had a fantastic breakfast, uh, picked up the car and, and went and got it cleaned and fueled up and everything else. Um, we then headed towards Loch Lomond and the Trussacks, which is a very narrow road, and uh, ended up in this sort of stunning location here. Um, we're, we're on our way to Skyfall now, um, the, the famous destination where James Bond was built. Um, the Bentley seems to be handling it perfectly, it's got power, it's got comfort, um, everything. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how the day develops. Although the roads were beautiful, the popular location where Skyfall for James Bond was filmed was teeming with tourists, so we decided to press on up north towards another location where we managed to put the Molzan through its paces off-road. The rest of the day's driving took us on some incredible roads past Loch Ness, 
and onwards to our final destination of Inverness. On the third day we were up early, refuelled again and washed the Malzan. So it's uh, day three of our Bentley experience. Today we're uh, at the wheel of the, the Mulsan, um, heading towards, I think we're heading towards the old military roads, uh, going through the Cairn Gorms. Um, the Bentley's fantastic. I mean, we, we currently have it in, uh, in comfort mode and we're following a, a rather crappy Hyundai, to be honest. Um, and it's, it's handling all the, the bumps and everything perfectly. Um, it's raining a little bit today, so uh, not sure how how the day is going to progress, but um, we've been told that these roads in the Cairngorms are absolutely perfect. So uh, it, it should be a good day. The Molzan was eating up the miles as we headed out east of Inverness, into the Cairngorms and into the mountain passes past scree resorts and snow-capped mountains, one of which we decided to stop at for lunch, where much to our surprise, we found a car park full of supercars. After a quick stop for lunch, we headed south towards Edinburgh and the Gumball 3000 rally. So welcome back to the Molzan, um, the interior this time. I'm um, going to talk you through a few of the options that make this car so expensive. The base price of the car, so if you had it with no options, is well, fairly eye-watering as it is. £229,360. The most expensive thing on the list is um, £21,565 and that is the entertainment specification. So that's uh, a few options that includes the pretty incredible uh, Naeem sound system. Um, I believe that's two subwoofers and something like 20 speakers or something inside here which is uh, pretty phenomenal. So we've got hand stitched, hand cross stitched, hand cross stitching in Porpoise which cost £3,445. So yeah, the stitching in this car yeah, it's pretty pricey. A couple of other things that are worth noting. So, this is another rather eye-watering number. Um, refrigerated bottle cooler with frosted glass and bespoke crystal champagne flutes. £8,225. So, where are these champagne flutes and this, and this fridge? So, if we just have a look in here, on this very nice armrest, which I've been leaning on a lot on this trip, you just tap this button here, we end up with a very snazzy thing, which... Um, yeah, three three crystal cups for, for your champagne. So yeah, really traveling luxury in style here, no corners cut. So these little badges here, which look actually look very, very nice. Um, and the chrome inlay strip is coming at £2,100. Um, another thing which, I, which I've really been using on this trip for editing pictures and things like that, and just uh, browsing the net in, in obviously in a lot of luxury, these uh, lovely picnic tables, which you just, if you just hold down this button, uh, yeah, you get a, very, very cool motion, um, very James Bond-esque. And again, there's another button in here. Unfortunately, they didn't, they didn't let us have the iPads in this one. Um, but yeah, there's a place where you can slot your iPad in the side and uh, there you go, you've got a full-on working office. Um, other things which are pretty cool in here are the, actually all the uh, heating and things like that, everything control in here. It's all done from a, from a, little, from a little section below, which I'm sure George is gonna edit in. Um, yeah, it's very easy to use and, and there's a lot of options. So you've got a seat massage, you can uh, crush the person in the uh, in the passenger seat at the front, so you can get more legroom at the back. Um, yeah, the massage is great, heated, cooled seats. Um, yeah, pretty pretty pleasant place to be on a, on a long journey like we are at the moment. There's two screens in the back of the headrests, which are, which allow you a number of different options. Um, again, we've got nav, radio, media, um, and a lot of information about what's going on, just generally about your trip. Um, again, the remote's a little bit plasticky, but it works and it's cool. Um, again, another nice touch in this car, which again contributes to the £22,000 entertainment pack. As you can see on the doors, there's even carpet and uh, there's some lambsball carpet as well, which costs, uh, sorry, it's deep pile Wilton carpet mats front and rear, which costs £1,085. So there you go, probably the most expensive carpets on the market today. Welcome to Edinburgh and the start of the 2016 Gumball 3000 Rally. Yeah. <laughs> 
As the last cars passed the finish line in Edinburgh, we decided to turn in for the evening and get some rest before the long trip back to England. At 8am, the gunboarders left Edinburgh, headed down south towards the border and into England. Welcome back to the Molzan. We are on the way home. Uh, we're back in England. We crossed the border uh, along with a few of the contestants of Gumball. Um, the Gumballers really did uh, pick up the pace a little bit. Um, had, had some fun driving down with them. Again, the Molzan has managed to kind of bumble its way through everything we've thrown at it. I mean, what's it been like to drive for the last? Well, I don't know. It's been a few hours, hasn't it? It's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's. It's not as quick as some of the gumball cars. I mean, we saw several being pulled over and I'm, I'm sure you'll see several videos of that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, we've, we've seen some really cool cities as well. I mean, Glasgow blew us away. We uh, weren't really sure what to expect from it, but it's, it's one of those hidden gems. So uh, definitely recommend going there. Definitely. Um, yeah, then it was in Maness, spent one night and then finally Edinburgh. Yep, Edinburgh. Um, spent the last night in, in the Waldorf and uh, I'm a bit, a bit sad to see the end of the trip is in sight. Yeah. It's been pretty cracking. We've had everything from open stretches of, well, long open stretches of motorway, and hundreds and hundreds of miles just cruising, and then dozens and dozens of miles on the twisty, bendy, potholed roads of uh, Scotland. So yeah. Seen some incredible scenery. Um, hopefully got some great photos, and I'm sure the story that accompanies this will be just as good. But I'm sure this is a trip we'll do many times again, so um, if by any chance you uh, fancy checking back again, I'm sure we'll be there this time again next year. I mean, if you want to see any more of our journey, our future journeys and anything else that we get up to, uh, be sure to, to subscribe to all our social media and uh, be sure to, to check out all of the YouTube videos. Thanks. Hi, I'm Des. Today we're driving a new Boxster 718 Spider here in Lisbon, Portugal. And since Porsche put a new four-cylinder engine in it, the first thing that people want to know is the sound. Here it comes. <laughs> 